All right, good day, welcome loves, welcome to my channel. This is going to be for the sign of Sagittarius, all right loves. Let's see what we have for the collective for Sagittarius here. All right, feel free to hit that like, subscribe, and share. I am working on the Patreon. All right, so let's do two more shuffles and get to it here. Well, there you are. Sagittarius, are you contemplating or is somebody contemplating you? Or are you rejecting something? We'll see here, but you're showing up very freaking strong. So let's see, why do we have the temperance here? Why is Sag showing up so strong? For the temperance, for Sag. Why is the temperance card the first one out? Because when you're dealing with the temperance, we have, wow, the Two of Cups. Okay. Beautiful energy here. It's emerging, I feel like, of two different energies that are coming together. All right. Coming together, loving each other, spirituality. Then we have the King of Wands here. All right. You guys are supposed to be leaders in this life. Lead people on how to love is kind of what I'm getting here, to teach people how to be spiritual. A spiritual connection can do that. It can teach a lot of people. Yeah, the confirmation message here with the page of, uh, or the princess of wands here. So I feel like you might be getting some type of exciting news that could be coming in here. I feel like whoever this counterpart is, I feel like there's some divine intervention going on where they're being kind of guided. <clears throat> to take action here, some type of news from somebody that you're supposed to be merging with here, all right? Just saw the two of pentacles. We have here, wow, the three of swords. So there's a separation, all right? There could be some heartbreak going on here, and that's going to bring in some good, exciting news here, or just a separation, all right? It doesn't always have to be some... <clears throat> you know, depressed shit here, especially here with the Ace of Cups. Why is the Three of Swords here? So you guys might be separated at the moment here. Maybe you guys decided to separate just to kind of see. What the hell is that? All right, Three of Swords, please. For the Three of Swords. We have the Four of Pentacles. So I feel like somebody's hanging on to pain and heartbreak. Yeah, it could be a Pisces here that is kind of hanging on here. All right, it's like they can't let whatever you did to them go. All right. They haven't fully let go. All right. We have the Eight of Wands here. Yeah, see, they really want to message you. They really want to talk to you is what I'm getting here. All right, Sagittarius. They really want to work together. They really want to build together, especially with the lovers here. All right. This could be soul contracts here. But right now, it's like they're just suffering in silence, acting like they don't want to do nothing. All right. So, yeah, you could be dealing with the Pisces here that is kind of like not wanting to let go of you. But yet not take any action either. Because then we have the Two of Swords. They're at a crossroads in life on where to go and what to do when it comes here to making that move, all right? And I feel like that's why the temperance is here. It's to guide them, all right? So they don't know if they should take action or not. But this is a confirmation message with the Princess of Wands showing up, all right? Maybe they're waiting on you to take action, all right? But right now, it's like they're kind of keeping to themselves. They're kind of keeping how they feel to themselves. Yeah, look at that. And it's weighing heavy on them here with the Ten of Wands here. All right, maybe they kind of withdrew and went into solitude because they have a lot of responsibilities, a lot of burdens in their life here. They're weighing their options as they watch you, pay attention to you. All right. So I feel like they want this lifted, yeah, because then we have the Eight of Swords. I don't feel like this is you, Sagittarius, because you see the big picture here, all right? And I feel like they feel stuck and trapped and confined. 
Like there's no way to release all this heaviness that they carry around with them. You may not see it, but they but they feel it. All right, they may try to hide it because I did see the moon and create some type of illusion. All right. So they're feeling stuck, trapped in their thoughts on where to go, what to do. We have here the Queen of Cups. Yeah, it could be a water sign. All right. That's feeling stuck. Stuck in their feelings. Give me for the Queen of Cups. I feel like you know what's up. All right. For the Queen of Cups, please. Yeah, see, this water sign feels left out. They feel abandoned. All right, either that or they had to abandon this because of some type of... Something that's keeping them stuck in life is what I'm getting here. Yeah. Give me for the Princess of Pentacles. We have here the Fool. Yeah. They feel like they can't embark on this new beginning, this new opportunity here. I feel like they do feel abandoned by you. They do want an opportunity because I feel like they love your free-spiritedness. All right, your carefree energy. I feel like they also feel like content emotionally around you and that's kind of what they need. We have here the Wheel of Fortune popping out. All right, so this major shift is going to be happening here. There's going to be some big changes coming in. All right, in the future is what I'm getting. And then we have under here the King of Cups here. Um, so we do have the King and the Queen of Cups. So I feel like somebody might want to come in and offer some type of reconciliation. All right, is really what I'm getting, but I feel like they feel defeated. All right, but this is like a shift that needs to happen. It needs to occur. It's a good shift. All right, good luck, good fortune, all that. We have here, but there's stress and worry. There's fear. They need some type of peace of mind is really what I'm getting. They're kind of feeling stressed out, I feel. Yeah, because they might have to walk away and leave something behind here. All right, because, yeah. They might be getting some type of clarity. Maybe there's somebody else that they're with. It could be a third party here that they've been building with. Um, but they're stressed and worried about having to move out of that. All right, leaving things behind. I feel like it's self-discovery here where they're, yeah, the Empress wants to be here. All right. They need to walk away from somebody they've already been building with. There's the King of Cups. It could be a water sign here that needs to find the strength and bravery to move out of this turbulent energy and get balanced back into the life, especially with the Queen of Cups here. So some of y'all may have some water in your chart somewhere in a very strong placement but it's about walking away and leaving behind but there could be some type of contracts that they're stressing over like who does that shit like what type of a feminine puts a contract to fuck somebody but it's probably somebody here that is in the eight of swords they were trapped all right let's get this wrapped up here But yeah, there's another energy around here. It could be somebody's baby mama, wife, something. Yes, people can be married and spirit can come in and say, you know what, you didn't notice that this was done a while back, so I have to come in and dismantle it. People got to understand that just because we choose to be with somebody doesn't mean that's who we're supposed to be with. All right, that's just nonsense for people to think that we get an actual choice to have that real person that we're supposed to be with. All right, we have here. So somebody here is contemplating on whether they wanna rejuvenate this or whether they want to move away. We have here the Nine of Pentacles. So they need to be confident is really what I'm getting. We have here the Five of Swords. So I feel like they're worried about an argument and a fight with family. Could be, yeah. I 
I feel like somebody has invested a lot of time in a situation and it just isn't going anywhere. It's just fight and argument here. So I feel like right now somebody's restless because they have some type of a choice to make here. All right, last card, please. So somebody is weighing their options. They can be watching you, paying attention, keeping an eye. So it's all about decisions, decisions, decisions. Well, if a new decision pops into your head, chances are you're supposed to take that. All right, so let's get the last card here. Last card for Sagittarius. Somebody could have been trapped. Could be a pregnancy trap that brought nothing but stress. So bravery, strength. So I feel like somebody's battling like two different feminines here because we have the queen of wands and then we have the queen of pentacles between which one are they going to reconcile with then we have the queen of cups here i feel like you your person feels stuck because yeah we have here they need to be strong all right brave yeah we have the king of cups here about reuniting, going towards their desires, their wants, all right, their needs. So reconciliation is just taking time for somebody to feel brave enough. All right. Last card for the King of Cups and the Three of Cups. Because it's like reuniting and it feels so good. All right, last card, please. Somebody's contemplating if they want to restart something here. All right, King of Cups, Three of Cups, please. We have the Chariot. All right, so somebody is going to have to maybe drive somewhere, all right, some like at a distance here with the Chariot. But you're going to succeed when you go in this direction, and I feel like the uh, divine beings are guiding you here. To an equal give and take situation here. All right. Balance. Truth. Understanding. But I feel like with the two of cups here, it's balancing. You two. Two divine counterparts here. All right. We have here the six of cups. All right. So there's going to be some big things coming in here. All right. Who are they reconciling with? I'm getting more of your person's energy here. So it's about transitioning and leaving things behind that you've been painting an illusion on. So I feel like it's more of a water sign in your energy, Sagittarius, because there's so much water energy here. All right, so I'm just going to leave that there, you guys. All right, and you guys have a good day.